Hello everyone. I know many of you are beginners to mandala art and have lot of questions on what kind of color should I be using, what kind of tools to use, and the other available options. If you do not have these tools, we will discuss all these in details, and we will also be discussing some usual mistakes people make and how you can correct them. Let's start with the colors first. Personally, I love using acrylic colors for mandala art because they give a beautiful shine. But you can use your regular painting colors as well. Here's an important tip: avoid using water to the paint. If the color feels too thick and gives you trouble, you can add just one to two drops, but not more than that. Now, let's talk about the tools that can give your mandala art a perfect finish. Don't worry if you do not have them. I'll share some tricks for that as well. We'll need round tools for creating small dots and for larger circles we will need these bigger tools. You can easily find these tools on Amazon or Flipkart or any other online store. But what if you do not have these tools? No problem. We can use everyday items like an earbud, toothpick, pen, pencil or even a paint brush i'll show you how to use each one of them step by step let's get started Instead of using color directly from the bottle, take some amount and place it on your color palette. Using color straight from the bottle can lead to creating uneven design and can even make your color dry. It's also a good idea to use a thick paper, cardboard sheet, canvas board or a MDF board as your painting surface. To create small dots, use a small size round tool. For larger dots, go for a bigger tool. Remember to clean your tool with a tissue after using it for some time to ensure even dots. Now, let's see the technique of creating leaves. First, create the dots correctly and then shape them into leaf using a pointed tool. Make the tail of your dot and then shape it to form a leaf. Another important tip, if your dots aren't perfect, you need not worry. Just fill in the gaps by taking some color on a pointed tool or using a paint brush. Now let's see how you can create the same design without traditional mandala tools. Simply take an earbud, dip it in color and gently press it to create perfect dots. Use a toothpick to create small size dots. You can also create the dots using a pencil. Just dip its back side in paint and effortlessly create dots. You can make beautiful designs using this back side of the pencil. 
To make leaves, try using a paint brush and a toothpick. Use the back side of the paint brush to create dots. Then make the tail of your dot and then shape it to form a leaf. Same way, if you do not get a perfect design or a perfect dot, you can easily correct it by taking some color on your toothpick. Now, I'll quickly demonstrate all these tricks on a board so you can see them in action. Here I have created the center of the design using a earbud. Then with the help of toothpick I have made a flower. Oh no, I made a mistake in my design. No worries, here I have a very useful trick for you. Just use an earbud to wipe away the incorrect part. It cleans up very easily and you can easily create the correct design again. Lastly, let's explore creating designs using a pen. The tip of a pen is perfect for creating dots with ease. Give these tips a try and unleash your own magnificent mandala art. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.